Hello world, it's me, it's your boy Cajun Flame. And I am coming to you today on the behalf of Legendary Ladies Night from Ashanti and Keisha Cole. Some people who know me, y'all know that Ashanti is my favorite. I follow her since day one. But Keisha Cole, I'm a fan of Keisha Cole as well since day one. So I'm just excited to see y'all. I want to see what they're going to wear. I want to see if Keisha Cole going to have in her signature hair, the little orange and the blonde. I want to see if Ashanti going to do her signature hair, do her straight black hair. Like, I really love both of them, y'all. So I'm like so excited because I like both of them. I love Ashanti and I love Keisha Cole. I just follow Ashanti's career from day one. I want to know what they're going to discuss. Like, I want to see what, you know what I'm saying? I know they're going to go down memory lane. They might reveal some shit to us we didn't know about. Ashanti, um, Ashanti is a Grammy Award winner. I do believe um, Keisha Cole deserves a Grammy as well. Because I was looking today when I was like getting into like both of them, well, getting into the rest of Keisha Cole catalog. Keisha Cole really has a large catalog. Like, she have a lot of songs. So, I'm just really excited to see. It's not about no competition. It's not about who's the best, who's the worst, who's this, who's that. As you guys can see what Ashanti posted, it's a celebration. They're all about women empowerment. And then Keisha Cole followed up and put the same thing. It's a celebration. It's really just fun, you know? But, like, I did notice. Let's get into some things, yo. I did notice that when they do those versus battle, I'm not going to say it, it, some of the stuff be scripted. No, but they always tend to, like, make one of the people do, like, you know, like, I'm not going to say little petty jabs, but, like, you know what I'm saying? They're in the entertainment business. Y'all always got to keep that in mind. Y'all always tend to forget that. It's all for entertainment. So they're going to make one of those, you know, one of the girls be kind of like, you know, kind of like how Pat LaBelle did, or you came for me with the banana pudding. Kind of like how Gucci Mane did when he playing a diss song, you know, shit like that. So me personally, before it comes out, I'm going to be honest and say it. I love both of them. I followed Ashanti career. And I follow Keisha Cole, you know what I'm saying, good enough to know that it will, if if it will be any one of them, it will be Keisha Cole. <laughs> because that's her character. That's what she do. She, you know what I'm saying, she don't, you know what I'm saying, she don't really bite her tongue. Ashanti don't bite her tongue either, but we know Keisha Cole is a little bit more like, you know, she's a little bit more outspoken. Like myself and Ashanti will just make you read between the lines, keep it cute, keep it classy. I'm staying out the bullshit, you know. What I'm saying I'm unbothered to all the bullshit. She's unbothered to any and everything. Keisha Cole, she address it, you know what I'm saying? She she gonna tap into it. Like what? But you coming for me? Like I say, it's all about women in power. I'm assuming this is the last versus battle before the new year, so it's about women empowerment. I want women to stop tearing each other down. Stop thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to start lifting each other up more. Like, and, and like, just know that when you, if you tapping into something that's entertainment, just know that it's always going to be something hyped up for entertainment to entertain the audience and to entertain the viewers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they not like, if they probably give us, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say the real, because I know they're giving the real. If they give us like, what y'all want them to give us, like, it wouldn't be no entertainment. Y'all gotta always keep that in mind. That shit be for entertainment purpose only. They both have a lot of hits. Um, now, as we all know, it's not really a versus battle and like, oh, let's see who's the best. As we all know, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, the people who do verses together, they have history. Monica and them had history. Gladys and them had a lot of history. Her mama knew Patty called Patty Blue Bell. I mean Lil Bell. And um G's and Gucci, I guess they was cool at one time or kinda like fucking with each other at one time. And Keisha Cole and Shanti. I don't know if they really had beef, but you know, I know they kinda like used to date the same guy. You know what I'm saying? Ashanti did a song with Jimmy Ch Ashanti did a song with Sean called Jimmy Chu. And then um before that, years before that, Keisha Cole had used Shine as her, you know, her love interest in her um I changed my mind, Kanye West on the track. So, and then I don't know, they say they date the same guy. I'm just really wanting to see 
what they gonna spill because there's gonna be some stuff that we didn't know like monica we had to let them know that you know what i'm saying brandy um brandy had to let them brandy had to let them know that monica was smacking niggas down smacking bitches down <laughs> you know so i want to see if they're gonna talk about when they was dating the same guy you know like i was saying back to that we know it's not really a you know what i'm saying a versus versus because Ashanti and Keisha Cole have a collaboration together called Woman to Woman. And since I follow both of them and I like both of them, I think it was like a magazine or an interview or something, how they hooked up, they was both in the studio recording. And Keisha Cole was finishing her album and Ashanti was doing something. And Keisha Cole asked Ashanti to hop on her own her song called Woman to Woman. And that was actually the title of her album. This video is not... This video is not about, about who y'all banking on, because as we all know, it never be like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and the winner is, and the winner is Young Jeezy. The winner is Gucci Man. You know, like, this never be no shit be like, oh, but the winner is. They do that shit for the viewers and for the fans and for the people out there so they can debate. Now, number one for Ashanti is the whole first album. Like, I was writing down songs. I'm like, fuck, if I write down songs, it'll probably fill up half Follow I me mean, favorite songs. It'll fill up like maybe like five, six. It'll fill, like, fill up like five or eight. So I'm like, no, I can't do that. So number one for Ashanti goes to her first whole entire album. For movies, Rescue, um, Dreams, Thank You, Foolish, Unfoolish, Happy. Like the whole entire album that goes for number one. Number two, I'm going to fuck with What's Love. Three, I'm going to do Mesmerize. Four, I'm going to do Rain On Me. Five, I'm going to do Jimmy Choo. I like that song by her. That's one of my personal favorites. I'm going to do Always On Time, The Way That I Love You, Say Less, um, Only You. I know I probably did more than 10. Now, with Keisha Cole, y'all, we're going to do Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole was another hard one. One, Trust and Believe, You Complete Me, I Changed My Mind, I Ain't Through, Love Letter, Enough of No Love. I should have cheated, should have let you go, heaven sent, and woman to woman, featuring Ashanti. That's some of my favorite songs by Keisha Cole, like I said. I know I'm excited about it, I know y'all excited about it, so. I do wanna give a shout out to my whole YouTube family. 